It's a beaut. I want to eat that. I want to drink it. I express myself. I talk through my paintbrushes. That's how I. That's how I speak. I guess what I'm saying with these brushstroke words is that uh, I think America's great. I think uh, she's worth being proud of. I've been an artist since the second grade. And I'm 50, so that's a good 40% of my life. I come from Staten Island. It's a working class borough. Firemen, cops, military, a lot of veterans. And we always had a flag in my grandma's front yard. The flag was always up for grandpa, who was in World War II. And we had uncles in Vietnam, and uh, so that patriotic bug was in me. And then I went to find myself in the uh, 90s, and it was a time when patriotism was taboo. The American flag was poison. And that's when it hit me. Why is everybody afraid of this beautiful, beautiful work of art? This, this iconic, magic, beautiful thing. I'm gonna paint the American flag. I'm not gonna hang it on a flagpole. I'm gonna paint it huge, in public, on the sides of buildings, on cars. I'm gonna bring it back to life. This is my third 50 state tour doing something similar. You know, I've painted on every building you can imagine. Schools, firehouses, you know, stores, shopping centers, churches. But this one is the closest to my heart. The most meaningful accomplishment. Uh, because uh, our veterans don't get the love that they deserve. Now every time an American drives by this American Legion post, as well as the other 48 posts across America that have already been graced with your flag mural, it's my fervent hope they get the same goosebumps of pride that I do. I sp specifically did it for these veterans and these veteran posts that we drive by just this gray beige brick building that people become numb to. I'm bringing attention to the sacrifices that they made for me. What, who am I? What am I? I'm a crazy artist. I've tested the boundaries of the First Amendment many times. I can do that because of these men and women that hang out in these buildings.